All right, here we are with uh, sports from Dave. What's going on, man? Okay, we are going to start with basketball, where the Knicks lost a really tough one last night. Terrible call at the end. Uh, 105 to 103, the Knicks lose to the Houston Rockets. And why I say that is because the guy, the, one of the Houston Rockets players, was pretty much falling backwards, one of those 26, 27 foot desperation shots that you're just flinging, hope, hoping to get lucky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Jalen Brunson, who is Knicks star point guard, fantastic player, MVP candidate, he just uh, contended him, didn't touch him, didn't hit his arm, didn't do anything. The referees never call a foul in that moment until last night. With oh, come on. Like point three seconds <laughs> on the clock, they call like a, a foul. And as a result, the guy hits both free throws and then actually yeah. missed the third on purpose. Well, I've seen people get mugged trying to make that yeah. shot. What's, things you don't call in the NBA wow. are fouls on desperation buzzer beaters. Yeah. Right, it's the same thing that you don't call in the NFL. You don't call a penalty on a hail mary. Like you don't say, "Oh, uh, the defender yeah. this, the offensive player." Did. No, you just understand. We all know what the sport is. Unless, Guys go up unless it's... there's a serious mugging going right. on. Yeah, no, I hear no. you. No, and this is terrible. Wow. That's a drag. And I just feel like you know what, the uh, Knicks have gotten really, really good, but the last people to catch up to this are the NBA officials because the the refereeing for Knicks games lately has been terrible and they're the ones not getting any calls yeah. and they're the ones who should be getting calls because they're playing good basketball well hopefully they can uh, keep that going man. nuts it's right. nuts anyway tough loss Brunson did have 27 points and seven assists in the defeat as he is always awesome but hopefully they can rebound from this uh from this defeat where the refs absolutely stole the game away from the Knicks 76ers beat the Cavs 123 to 121 behind 24 points and eight assists by Buddy Heald. The Nets were off. They play the Celtics tonight at the Barclays Center. Hockey Devils beat the Kraken 3 to 1. Jack Hughes had a goal and an assist in the victory for the Devils. Rangers shut out the Flames 2 to nothing. Ranger goalie Igor Shesterkin had 30 saves to pick up the win. Flyers got past the Coyotes 5 to 3. The Flyers' Scott Lawton had a goal and an assist in the game. Baseball, ESPN reporting that Pete, uh, Pete Alonzo and the Mets unlikely to reach a deal on a big contract extension before Alonzo reaches free agency this uh, season. Huh. Uh, Alonzo's agent is the infamous Scott Boris. That could be a reason why Scott Boris always uh, gets uh, max contracts yeah. for his players. He's going to hold out a little bit. And then finally, football. See if he hits a few dingers. Yeah. Well, we'll see. I mean... That guy's the face of the Mets, the way Aaron Judge is the face of the Yankees. Yeah. You'd think that the Mets would understand that and make sure that they have Pete Alonso wrapped up for like a decade. I don't know what's wrong with them. Football, the longest Super Bowl game. Uh, excuse me, the longest, the highest rated TV program of all time now belongs to Super Bowl 58, the one we just saw between the Chiefs wait, and 49ers. Wait, more people than the last Seinfeld and the last episode of MASH. Yes, and... 200 million people, Wow! according to Nielsen and Adobe Analytics. Wow. Uh, 120 million on CBS alone. And then more people when you can count Paramount Plus, other streaming services. Huh. Just in America, 202 million people. In America, 202. That's two. two-thirds of the nation. Yep. Watch Give the Super take. Bowl. That's yes. insane. And wow. again, I hate to say this. It beat wow. a dead horse year in and year out. Wow. But we keep pretending that the Monday after the Super Bowl is, you know, like, let's just give everyone a day off because we keep pretending that the Super hey, Bowl. I was sick. I, know. I was I was legitimately sick. Well, there I know, but a lot yes, of people yeah. are sick on Monday after yeah, the Super because Bowl. Because you got hammered. Yeah, well, my yeah. point is, why do we pretend that it's not a real like holiday when it is? Well, listen, there's an easy way to do this. Sure. Yes, move, move the game. Yes, move the game. If you want the day off, tell the NFL put it on President's Weekend. Yeah, I know. I, I mean, someone's got to someone's got to figure this out. Because we should be getting the Monday after the Super Bowl well, off. Really, what you should be pointing out is the giant conspiracy theory of Taylor Swift drawing all those people to the NFL. I'm, and how much money did she I'm make sure for she dating got, that gentleman, Mr. Kelsey? Travis right? Kelsey. I'm sure she got uh, some eyeballs. But I just also think that uh, this is how big the NFL's gotten. Mahomes is a star. Kelsey is a star. Anytime you have star players... 
brings a lot of eyeballs. I'm sure Taylor Swift made a little bit of an influence. Oh, but yeah. at the same time, the point is, I just am desperate for us to recognize the Super Bowl is an American Dave just holiday. Wants a day off. Yes! <laughs> Says the guy who wasn't here yesterday and got I was, was sick. I didn't even watch the, the second first half hour until Gotts, yesterday. The first hour, Gotts was still half in the bag. Well, and I'm sitting here like, why are we working on Super Bowl Monday? That's any Wednesday or <laughs> Friday in July and August. Bad example, Dave. <laughs> you should have heard him, actually. This Bad was example. worse. <laughs> So I'm just saying.